Struggling to find a place to live when you're homeless is difficult, but imagine having to do that with a child. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick takes us to a new housing complex designed to give these mothers a fighting chance. Isn't that cute? And look at the table that goes with it. Five weeks ago, Liz Davis started her life over. I have my daughter back. I'm working. I've had a promotion of my job. The um, former drug addict spent more than two years away from her daughter, Alexis, at Esther's Place, a rehab facility at the Harvest Tabernacle Church. While she fought to get clean, the separation was devastating. Motivation knowing that I, I wanted her back at home, that she needed me. She's a teenager. She needs to be with mom. Finally drug free, Liz was anxious to reunite with her daughter, but finding an affordable place for the two of them to live seemed impossible. Then the Bono Foundation approached Aaron Miner, program director for Esther's Place. They asked if a few renovated apartments for women and children would help the program. It's so needed in this area. Um, there's very few of them, and even within those facilities, just, there's few beds. Right now, there are four fully furnished units. We're actually planning to put in some um, children's, a little children's playground. The plan is to ultimately have about a dozen. For Liz and Alexis, the fresh paint represents hope for a new life together. I've been wanting for so long to be back with her and, you know, for things to be better than they were before. This has helped quite a bit. This, this really is a blessing for me. A stable home offers them a chance to figure out what they can accomplish together. Mia McCormick, SNN Local News 6. The apartments are not just for women who've been through the drug program. They include any mother who is homeless or on the brink of homelessness. And to learn more about the housing for women and children, you can call Erin Miner at 228-4310.